If you want to increase your FPS, lower input delay, and improve your ping in Fortnite, then Hone's Free Optimizer does just that. Hone also has many other benefits such as cleaning junk files, optimizing your game settings, BIOS tweaks, and even a built-in AI chatbot. If the free tweaks help you out in this video, there's also a paid premium option for anyone who wants to push their performance even further. So before we get into the Hone Optimizer, I want to quickly show you the comparison benchmark between default windows and the tweaks I'll show you in this video. For the test, I stood it in the exact same spot in a creative map and used Capframe X to benchmark my FPS over 2 minutes. As you can see, the FPS was higher in all areas after the tweaks, by about 10%. However, you must remember that these results may vary for you. So starting off to install Hone, you can either head onto the Epic Games store, search Hone in the search bar, and download it for free from there. Or you can click the top link in the description to download Hone from our website. If you decide to install Hone through the website, you will need to run the file you downloaded to begin the installation process. Once you've done that, in here you'll be able to choose your language, and then you'll need to accept the terms of conditions, then click install. Once Hone launches, you'll need to either log in or sign up. To make it easier, you can link Hone to your Discord account to speed up the login process in the future. If you haven't yet bought Hone Premium, then you will be limited to any 10 optimizations of your choice. However, we recommend creating a backup before applying any tweaks just in case anything goes wrong. To do this, on the dashboard, you will see a backup button at the bottom. Then simply click the Create New Backup button and name the restore point you're liking. Now let's look at some of the optimizations you should apply. Firstly, we're going to head to the optimizations tab and we're going to start off with the general optimizations to do with Windows, which improve system responsiveness and stability. This optimization covers all areas from games to any other applications you may be using. Next up, I recommend you enable Optimize Windows Power Plan, as this will disable some power saving features and sleep modes to provide a balance between energy efficiency and performance. Then enable Optimize Windows Time Resolution, which will improve the responsiveness of time-sensitive applications, such as Fortnite or other fast-paced real-time multiplayer games. And also, you should enable MSI optimizations, as this will allow devices to directly send interrupts to the CPU, resulting in reduced latency and improved responsiveness. Next up, you're going to want to enable Optimize Mouse, as this optimization improves your mouse responsiveness and disables mouse acceleration for more precise movements. I have found that sometimes this changes your mouse sensitivity, so you may have to go back into your Windows settings and adjust it after a restart. Then, you should enable Hone Gaming Mode, which will prioritize your game over any other processes which may be running in the background, which in turn ensures the operating system allocates more resources to your game. And after that, you're also going to want to enable the gaming optimizations, which will apply many different tweaks to improve performance in games, such as graphic settings and system tweaks. Scrolling down, you'll find Optimized Memory Management, which when enabling will optimize your memory by adjusting your virtual memory, page file configuration, and memory allocation to improve your latency and reduce stutters. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you should optimize NVIDIA control panel settings and the general NVIDIA optimizations, as improving your GPU's performance will lead to more consistent FPS and substantially reduce your input lag. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you should enable the Disable Windows Services, as background processes will use extra CPU resources that could be spent instead on improving your game's performance. However, bear in mind, enabling this optimization could lead to some functionality loss and compatibility issues with some applications. If you want to know more about this, I would recommend asking the AI. Next up, you should also disable power saving features. However, be cautious when enabling this option, especially if your system is prone to overheating. And also, as a bonus for anyone that doesn't use the Windows Game Bar, you can disable it here too, as it can take up a lot of resources in the background whilst playing games. Now, we're going to head to the Boost Up tab, where you can clean your system of unnecessary files which may be slowing your system down. And as you can see, any cleaners that Hone thinks you need to run will have a tag that says it needs attention. Now, I recommend you go through and run any of the cleaners that say it needs attention. This way, no junk files will be left behind. However, I'm only going to cover a few of them as some of these cleaners can take a while to run. Starting with the junk cleaner, this will scan for temporary files and remove them, freeing up storage and potentially increasing performance. Simply click boost performance and the cleaner will automatically do everything for you. Then also, if you use Discord, I recommend you run the clean Discord cache and clean Discord history as this will clear any unnecessary files created by Discord and it will also free up your storage. It's also worth mentioning that doing this could log you out of Discord. Next, you can head into the games tab where you'll find any games installed on your system. For this video, I'm going to enable the performance mode for Fortnite by simply clicking on Fortnite and selecting the performance preset. This optimization adjusts in-game settings to maximize FPS and reduce input lag by prioritizing performance over visual quality through reducing some graphic settings that are not typically able to be changed through Fortnite manually. On the right, you'll also see any settings that pro players are using. If you click on the pro, you can see their visual settings and apply them. 
and if you scroll down, you can also see their keybinds and mouse sensitivity. However, when applying the pro settings, this won't change your sensitivity or keybinds. You have to do this all manually. Finally, we recently launched the Hone AI, which you can use to ask any questions surrounding Hone, whether that's about the optimizations or premium, you can ask it anything. You can join our Discord from the dashboard or the description, and if you would like to see more, make sure you like and subscribe, and have a great day.